Matt Stepp, Dave Campbell's Texas football here at a cold and rainy Sam Parker Field in Mount Pleasant, Texas with the Week 10 Instant Reaction video. We'll start here in Mount Pleasant where the Longview Pine Tree Pirates knocked off Mount Pleasant 23-13 to keep their playoff hopes alive in District 8, 5A, Division 2. Pine Tree's going to have to win next week and hope for a little help, but they are still alive for the playoffs while Mount Pleasant under head coach Joe Cluley is eliminated from playoff contention in 2022. Five big thoughts from the weekend so far. Uh, first, let's start in Class 6A. Duncanville and DeSoto had their big showdown in Panther Stadium in Duncanville, and it was all Duncanville tonight. The Panthers once again dominate the line of scrimmage and roll past DeSoto 48 to, 41 to 10, making a major statement. Um, Duncanville, definitely a team to keep an eye on. One of the favorites in 6A Division I with a convincing 31 point win over a very good DeSoto ball club. In Class 5A Division I, how about the Amarillo Tascosa Rebels under Ken Plunk get their first district title since 1988 with a 28-14 win over Lubbock Cooper. Uh, the Rebels offense, solid as always, but it was the defense that got the job done holding Lubbock Cooper to 14 points. Amarillo Tascosa, first district title since 19, 1988. They're going to be a contender in Class 5A Division I Region I. Moving down to Class 4A, uh, congrats to Scott Surratt and the Carthage Bulldogs going 10-0 on the season cut with a 41-15 win over Van. Scott Surratt gets his 200th win as a head coach in the state of Texas in just 16 seasons at Carthage. What a run he's had at Carthage, and it's going to continue. The Bulldogs aren't slowing down. He's an incredible 229, 200 wins, 29 losses in 16 seasons. Absolutely unbelievable. How about the Comanche Indians in Class 3A Division II? A huge 49-14 win over Merkel to improve to 8-1 on the season. Coach Joaquin Escobar and the Indians are making an incredible run after being picked near the bottom of the district standings. Comanche is now looking like a team that could be state ranked heading into the final week of the season. And overall thoughts? The rain is the big winner tonight. Uh, all across the state of Texas, games have been delayed. A lot of games have been moved to Saturday because of, of the bad weather. Uh, our game here in Mount Pleasant actually didn't finish. They called the game with two minutes left. Pine Tree had the ball up 10, and they were driving to put more points in the board, and they went on ahead and called it uh, with two minutes left in the game. So uh, the overall winner tonight, Mother Nature, as the rain continues to fall here in Mount Pleasant. Um, we're going to try to get back to Fort Worth a little safe and sound and head back, head down to Houston in the morning. That's it for the Week 10 recap from Dave Campbell's Texas Football.